Athens, the capital of Greece, is a city that perfectly blends its ancient past with a vibrant modern present. Join us today as we showcase a glimpse into the rich history of the city. We'll visit the majestic Acropolis, wander through charming old neighborhoods, recommend the best hotel to stay if you're on a budget, embark on a must-do hike, Whoa. and discover the tastiest places to eat. Welcome, Welcome to Athens! Athens. Alright guys, so we're going to be starting it off here at Monasteraki Square. So Monasteraki Square is the epicenter of Athens, Greece. This is one of the oldest neighborhood in Greece and also one of the most popular. And so far walking around this neighborhood, they are selling a lot of the things that we've seen in Santorini and Mykonos for a lot cheaper, such as souvenirs like bracelets, keychains, jewelry, and shoes. So in this vlog, we're going to be visiting some of the most popular landmarks here in Athens. But I know it's going to be so hard to do this place justice because there's just so much history about the city. But we'll try our best. Walking by a bunch of restaurants right now, and it's so hot out that the fans actually have like mist coming out of them. Like cold water. Yeah. So, as many of you know, we've been traveling Asia for a few years now. So, this is our first European country, and it being Greece, it's a totally different world out here. And I mean that in a good way. People have been so kind, the food has been great, and there's just so much history behind each place. Before we walk around some more, we actually had to stop and get a local drink because it's so hot out. We actually headed over to Coffee Island, which is a local cafe, and we got some coffee. We asked them what their most popular drink was, and apparently here in Greece, it is Freddo Cappuccino or Freddo Espresso. So apparently Freddo means ice, and it's very, very popular here in Greece, so we had to try it. How do you like it, Ben? It's pretty good. Very uh, strong though. <laughs> so funny because when we first got this, we were like sipping the very bottom of the drink and it was so strong and bitter. And then we started mixing it and then we're like, oh, there we go. We were like trying so hard to like it at first, but we were like, hmm, it's really strong. It's good though. But it's really good. You gotta mix the cream and the, the cinnamon. Alright guys, so we are now heading to one of the famous landmarks here in Athens, if not the most famous, mm -hmm. which is Acropolis. If you guys are here in Athens and you have limited time, we highly recommend that you guys stay near the Monastery area. Yeah. From there, the Acropolis of Athens is only a 10 minute walk. Yeah. And then along the way, you'll also pass by a lot of tourist areas. That's one of the main reasons why we stayed here. We only have two days left, so we had to stay in the heart of the city. So the hilltop is called Acropolis, but the temple that you see is called Pathanon. Because some people think that the temple is called Acropolis, but it's not. It's actually just the hilltop. So upon entrance, we're actually greeted with the Herodes Atticus and the amazing view of Athens behind it. Herodes Atticus is actually an ancient theater which is still used today for musicals and such. So it's really cool to see. It is so hot out here. It's like 38 degrees right now. Wow! And my camera's actually overheating a little bit. Also, if you're wondering why our audio has slightly changed, it's because we actually can't bring a microphone in. So if yeah. you guys are coming here and you're vlogging or you have um, some type of microphone with you, uh, you can't, actually can't bring it. But they do have lockers downstairs where it will be safe. Alright guys, so we finally made it here at to the top of 
the Acropolis and right behind it is the most famous and iconic temple here in Athens, Greece. Yes, well, this temple was actually created by the Athenians for the Greek goddess Athena. Yeah, guys, you have to come here if you're in Greece. Yeah, it's stunning. It is so stunning. did a presentation on the Acropolis in high school. I think we all did because I also had to do a presentation on like the Greek goddesses and gods. Yeah, and like to be standing here right now, it's pretty damn crazy. It is you know what's so also stunning. crazy is when we started doing presentations in school about Athens, that's when I started developing like this love for Greece in general. Yeah. But just... I don't remember any of it. Yeah. Alright guys, to sum it all up, trust me when I say you did not go to Greece if you didn't visit the Acropolis. Every single detail situated on top of this hill is a masterpiece, especially the Parthenon. It was so beautiful. And if you go up there, there's actually a lot of people who work there. They're spread out throughout the area, making sure that you don't touch the marble, you don't step on anything you're not supposed to, because like Jan said, everything up there is a masterpiece. And seeing it in person, I'm like mind blown to be completely honest with you guys. So just below the Acropolis is Plaka neighborhood. It's only about five minute walk, but walking here is so beautiful because Plaka neighborhood is known for its colorful buildings and picturesque streets. So it's a really, really stunning walk. Here at the Baca neighborhood, you'll find more shops and local boutiques selling really cool things. They have a lot of unique souvenirs and clothing. Every street, every alley that we turn to is just so picturesque. If you love your pictures, you love them crispy IG pictures, then come to this neighborhood. Good morning. It is currently 6.45 a.m. I woke up early to do a quick hike here in the heart of Athens. This is a very popular hike to do in the city. The hill that we will be hiking at is called the Capitus Hill. And apparently there's only a 30 minute hike. They'll give you one of the most beautiful views of Athens and the surrounding areas. Unfortunately, Anne couldn't come with me because she did some work last night and she slept at like 3 a.m. So she just doesn't have the energy to do this hike right now. It's a quick one. 
and I'm excited to do it. All right, let's go do this, let's go. Good morning, birds. Good morning, pigeons. Whoa, it's already stunning from here. The sunrise looking majestic. One thing to mention, since I took the taxi, I think it already brought me halfway up the hill because I'm already pretty high up and it dropped me off at a parking lot. From what I read online, the taxi already brings you halfway up. This is not gonna take 30 minutes. This is probably gonna take like five minutes. No complaints. It'll just be a quick hike for me then. I can already see the top from here. All right, so we're up here now. Uh, it's actually pretty developed up here. There's like a cafe. It's close. Obviously, it's too early. I'm like by myself here. There's like nobody here. <laughs> Whoa. Check this out, guys. Look at that view. Wow. City views all around. So from up here, there's a clear view of the Acropolis, which is right in front of me. Just right there. And then you can see the Aegean Sea as well, right behind it. And of course, the city views of Athens and the surrounding areas. Wow, it is stunning up here. I'm glad I woke up early for this. All right guys, so it is now later in the day. And if you guys are wondering where we're currently staying, uh, we are staying at Atlas Hotel. So one of the main reasons why we chose this hotel, it is because it is only a 15 minute walk to the Acropolis. You can actually see the Acropolis from our balcony. So let me show you that real quick. So here's our balcony and then the Acropolis is over there. Let's see. So this is a three-star hotel, but we can't recommend it enough. The room is clean, spacious, and it even comes with a free breakfast buffet. They also have a rooftop bar with a great view of the Acropolis. So if you guys are looking for a budget-friendly hotel that is in the heart of Athens, then you definitely gotta check out Atlas Hotel. All right, so we're now back here at Monasteraki Square and what I love about our hotel is it only took us two minutes to get here. Yeah, I actually love our location because we're in the heart of Athens, but yeah. because we're in the heart of Athens, it's basically, well, it is a downtown. And yeah. just like any downtown, there is a lot of beauty, but also some downsides. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Walking around our neighborhood, we noticed that there is a lot of graffiti. Yeah. There is some homelessness mm. and there are some interesting people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if you guys have been to your downtown in your city you'll know what I mean yeah. but other than that like regardless there are a lot of tourists still lots of people walking day and night it's pretty safe but yeah just something to consider when you're choosing your location here in Athens so since it's our last day in Athens we're actually gonna go buy some souvenirs we actually didn't end up buying many souvenirs in Santorini and Mykonos because they are quite pricey but here in Athens like I said earlier in the vlog they are more affordable one euro yeah Bracelets like this in Santorini would cost up to like five to eight euros, but here they only cost one. And they have. And they have. They have tite here, a lot of them. It's a bottle opener. Oh, cool. Yeah, look. look at that. So if you're up to speed with our Europe series, you'll recall our pleasant surprise about Greece's affordability. However, securing decently priced hotels during the bustling high season can still remain a challenge. Europe's diversity calls for some serious planning, yet much of our itinerary is still wide open and still undecided. Our solution? Magic. It's true. Magic is a personal AI travel assistant guiding you in planning your trip, finding unbeatable hotel deals, and offering answers to all your travel-related inquiries. But before we delve in, let me start by saying Magic is completely free. No subscription fees for access and booking hotels won't cost you a cent. Let's say we want Magic to locate a suitable hotel for us for our upcoming trip to Croatia. 
Magic offers recommendations and we can even request suggestions to your popular tourist attractions for added convenience. And look how cool this is! Magic provides detailed hotel information covering cleanliness, location, service, and more. So it's safe to say we're sold on using Magic to help plan our future trips. And we highly encourage you to explore as well. Click the link in our description box to experience Magic for yourself. Now let's get back to shopping. Let's go! You got one, babe? Yeah, I found one for my little sister, Ella. And then I made sure to get one with the evil eye because like I mentioned before in our Santorini vlog, they really love the symbol of the evil eye here. Jan and I were just walking around and we actually ended up at a shopping center. There is H&M, Sephora, Zara here. There's so many well-known brands. Alright guys, it is now 6 p.m. and we're about to go to one of the most popular... Oh, hello! Oh, what's up guys? <laughs> so it is now 6 p.m. and we're about to get dinner at one of the most popular rooftop resto bar here in Athens, which is MS Rooftop Bar. So let's go check it out. Let's go. We decided to come here at 6.25 p.m. before the sun sets uh, because apparently right before the sun sets it gets super super busy here so if you can you can reserve as well and we decided to just do a walk-in fortunately enough there were some tables for us so for dinner I went with the pork gyro it is a traditional Greek dish this costs 18 euros. That's the norm here basically, even in Santorini and Mykonos. And got the chicken pasta with some mushrooms. This one costs 15 euros. Looks amazing. And I love the sizes here in Europe. You know, European sizes, they're massive. Oh, we've been in Europe for like a week now and I haven't eaten rice in a week. I know. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind though. I don't mind. It's always just been either fries, pasta. Greek salad. Greek salad, yeah. amazing by the way. Oh. We thought the Greek salad back home was good, but here in Greece, it's, I mean, obviously you're Greek, right. but it's amazing. And Greek yogurt. Yeah. For breakfast, we'd always have Greek yogurt. Ah. Oh, can I just say, I love Greek food. So yummy. It's freaking delicious, man. Not so I totally forgot to mention, we actually did end up buying something in Santorini and it's my souvenir. I was wearing it the whole time and I totally forgot to tell you guys. But I got this little ring. Can you see it? Anyway, I got this little ring and it, it was like 20 euros. Oh, like 30 euros. No, it ended up 30 Canadian. Oh, okay. You know what my souvenir is? The vlog you're watching. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is where we end the vlog and as well as our Greece series. We're actually heading to a new country tomorrow. We won't tell you which one just yet. You just have to subscribe and find out. Yes. And as always guys, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for always watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!